My name is Kenneth Bird. My company is Crystal Edge Technology Screens. Before we got into dark screen paint products, uh, before we came down this road of doing all these dark black screens and AR advanced technology, we used to make gray screen paint products under a company under Digital One Crystal Screen Paint. So when I tell you that I've learned to make all these different products that I see on the market, I can make them with no problem whatsoever. Now the difference between what you're seeing today, it's the same old mix from way back from seven, eight, nine years ago. Only difference is different caliber, more high power projector. So what they do in a lot of the demonstrations is they take the same great old mixes from way back and then they basically hook them up with high end projectors and say, hey look, you're getting a totally different product. This is something different, this is something new. But all in all, at the end of the day, it all does the same thing. So for those of you who basically make these products and you feel that I'm basically discrediting your product in any way whatsoever, feel free to do the same demonstration. We got no problem with that. So what you're seeing here, before we get into this darker mix, as you're seeing on this side, we made a, I'm gonna post a link below, check out the link. But in the link, we'll show you how we made these two screen paint products side by side. One we call the Pre-Extore 4K. It's a joke. It's, a, it's not, it's, it's an old product. We used that back in the day. The other one's called Vintage 4K. So Vintage 4K has two scoops of black paint. And the other one on the end, which is the Prehistoric, has about, uh, sorry, three scoops on the Vintage 4K and two scoops on the uh, Prehistoric 4K. But as you can see, it blends in quite nicely with the screen paint products we have up here on display. So up here on display, we have Crow's Metallica Mix, Personal Mix. We have Sherman Williams at the bottom. And then over here we have the, um, what is it called we have over there? I'm sorry, getting mixed up. We have the uh, blah, 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 blah. Network, sorry, Network Gray 773. I'm gonna expand my screen a little bit here. There we go. We need to widen it up a little bit. There we go. But as I said before, the gray screen paint mixes pretty much do the exact same thing. Once you start getting to like the lighter mixes with the like two, three, and four, five would be tipping a little bit too much, but two, three, and four, you would notice they will all look the same. Uh, when you start getting to like uh, six, seven, eight, which means how many tablespoons of black paint you're gonna be dropping in this at the end of the day, uh, then you start getting to the more darker mixes. So I'm going to let you guys watch this right now as I get ready to set up to make the darker mix. And you can see right from here that all the screens blend in together with no problem whatsoever. Here we go. We just do this demonstration. I think I literally just did this demonstration already. Uh, let's do this one right here. You guys can watch that while I get ready to set up. my company digital crystal screen paint we made a lot of these products at the end of the day because you have some people out there that are going to this whole Karen rant about saying that oh they're making my product no we're not making your product we used to make this a long time ago so um yeah yep guys back up here so when you're doing the darker mixes you want to put in as less white paint as possible but if you don't you're going to end up in the gray zone and that's where you don't want to be at all right so we'll put you guys over here and we can see so this is how we're going to make it simple and plain we got our white paint here 
New shower is advised you start off with the black paint first or dark gray and then add in the white paint. We're going to do this the hard way. All right. So this right here is where we have our dark paint in here. Why do I have a scooper in here like an idiot? Oh, when I got a scooper literally inside of here like an idiot. So reversal pretty much is you start off with the dark. This is your base right here. And instead of the white being your base, you start off with the dark being your base. This is going to be your toner now. It's the reverse. It's the opposite. If you do it the other way around, you're going to waste a ton of black paint trying to get it darker. As you make this the base, you're going to be dropping in all this black paint to get it dark. The easier way to do it is basically making this the base and make that the toner. It's a reversal. Now remember when you make this, this is what's gonna happen. White level is gonna drop like crazy. Color is gonna drop like crazy. You're gonna be the produce contrast, but that white light, you're not gonna be to see it at all. It's not gonna pull through. Screen's not gonna be too accepted. And this is not gonna help you see white light. All right, so. Let's see if we wanna get a little more black in there. A little more darker or something than this. Make it a little bit. I don't want to put too much in this to make it too light, then we jack it up. Ooh, jack it up. I guess this will work. Want more dark, but we got we, we got we got enough. Because it's not it's gonna take very little to make it darker. So okay, here we go. Take one of these. Remember, this is a scooper you want to get right here. This, this is more accurate than two tablespoons. It's not gonna work. You want to go with this. All right, so I'm gonna take one of these, scoop it in here like this, put it in there like so into the dark. Harky dokey. I'll put that there. We gotta paint the table anyway. Let me get a stir. There we go. There we go. There's a UB mix right there. Done. Boom. Definitely that's that quick. It's not hard. Like I said, we've made this stuff on so many levels, it's not even funny. I've been making it for quite some time. So I had four or five years of experience in making gray screen paint products. There are just so many different combinations. You gotta figure out these different combinations. Because number one, you got the people you gotta stay ahead of, and you're under contract, they want newer stuff, you know. Yeah. So your base can be anything. You can do your base. If you want to do a really, really crazy, incredible screen paint with insane, like, uh, colors mind, like I say, it's not going to match your stuff at the end of the day. It's not. But at least it's better than a white screen. It's better for paying for it. You can start with your base being silver. Drop your black into it. Basically, it's a toner. You can do your base with basically gray and put white in it or black in it. If you put white in it, it's going to be lighter. If you put black in it, it's going to be darker. You don't have to use white paint. It doesn't have to be bare silver screen. We're using basement sealer. That's how we made the two screen paints here and there. That's actually three tablespoons or three cups or scoops of the black paint. And that right there is two. You can't tell one from the other. But now we got a darker mix. So instead of you dumping in all this, starting off with the base being white and dumping all this black paint into it, simple and easy. Start the base off with either dark gray or black, dropping your tone. This is your toner, and that's it. This is how the UVs are made. This is how the Frankensteins are made. This is how they're made. 
So you start off with a quart of that black, you put one of those in there, you can actually adjust from there on how much you want to put in from one to five, on how much you want to put in. The less you put in, the darker it's going to put in. You bring it up to five, you're going to be almost in the area of the mid grays. You don't want to be in that area if you're going to be doing a darker screen paint mix. Remember, the problem you're going to have with this, you're not going to be to see contrast equal to a black screen. That's great. Black screens are black. They're going to pull higher contrast. So it's as easy as A and B. Your colors and all that, yeah, they're going to be dropping because you're, there's just no heightener in there. There's nothing in there at all, period. Even the gun metals have a reflective surface that allows them to be able to accept white light. That can accept jack at the end of the day. But you always say, well, Mr. Bird, again, remember, Mr. Bird backs it up. We just talked about this late and early in the morning about I was showing you demonstrations about how we made this stuff and how easy it was to make and how we can basically all these screens blend together. And here we are doing this demonstration. All right, then. Then you know what's going to happen next, don't you? I like this kind of stuff in the day. I mean, to put these great products, we've done these great products against our own black screens. Oh, heck yeah, let's get this on. Do, 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 do. Yeah, it's easy, people. It's easy, it's easy, it's easy. It's not that hard. So basically, these are old products from back in the day on how we used to make them. The difference is the projectors are much more advanced. So yeah, you take this stuff and you stick it on a, a projector, which is more advanced than what we had back then. Of course, the picture quality is going to change because the projector is doing the work. If you notice the demonstrations, they rely on those particular projectors constantly all the time in every single demonstration. And every once in a blue moon, they may lean over to a 720p or something just to show off whatever blah, blah, blah. At the end of the day, it shows you that the projector is doing all the work and not the screen. Hmm. I need to have a lecture. I need to be wearing a white coat with a tag on it that says Mr. Bird. All right, so let's have some fun with this. We're going to get this out of here. Let's clean up our area, get it nice and clean again. Put my table back to where it belongs at. What are we going to call this dark mix? Ah. I have no idea. We got, re this is vintage, vintage 4K, prehistoric 4K. Ah, it'll come to me. We're actually going to make labels for these. You think I'm joking? I'm making labels for these bad boys and everything. Must, I don't know what you want to do with a specification sheet, but we'll get something out of it. All right, let me put this over here. This is a scoop where you can pick these up. This is the most accurate way of measuring paint. Every doing that black and white mix. It's the best way to do it. Tablespoons? No. say something real quick. I got to take something back real quick. Should have never said it is the UB mix. I can say it's the color of the UB mix. I can say it looks like the UB mix. I can't say it until we actually put it against the UB mix. Now, if it blends into the UB mix, then it becomes the UB mix. But until then, we really can't make that statement. Of course, we do have to make the UB mix anyway, by the way, so you know we did it already. We did it with six tablespoons of white paint into black paint, and we made it. Perfect match. But this one's a little different. The paint we're using this one is gray. It's a dark gray. Just show you another way you can make it. All right, let's put our product over here. Got our, um, what is dark? Mm. No, that doesn't even sound right. Dark retro 4K. I like that one. I like that one. Dark Retro 4K. We got a Vintage 4K. Now we got Dark Retro 4K. All right, cool. That's what we're gonna call it. Dark Retro 4K. Now for those of you who don't know what the, uh, the ingredients are offhand, we'll post them so you can get them. But this is how we started off. When we were making digital crystal screen paint products, this is how we started off. This is how the bases started off. Just like this, same way. No, no. Everybody was making it the same way.
Now, if you notice in the demonstration, not once did I use the word scammer, fake, none of that. Nope. I'm just showing you. I told you at the end of the day, what we're talking about here, and we're not even showing us containers or nothing. I told you that all gray screen paints do the same way. The only time they become different is when you start going into the darker versions. The darker mixes are in a whole other world of their own. Now you take a darker mix, put it next to a lighter mix, what's going to happen is lighter mix is going to produce the better white levels and maybe better color, but we'll see. We're going to put them side by side. We're going to do another paint on strip right along the side of that so we have them all together. Now we're showing you the base. The base means the first base beginning. From there, you can actually alter it the way you want to. So if you start off with two, you drop in three, you drop in four. The highest I would go is probably five. Any more than that, you're going to be pretty much pushing it. Do you need to add in silver? No, you don't. At the end of the day, you really don't have to add in silver because you will never see it. The only way you will actually, silver will become an effective com commodity to basically what you're doing if you start the base off as silver. Now, if you start the base off as silver, you're going to see the silver at the end of the day. But if you take that silver and you drop it in black and white, you ain't seeing jack. The only thing you're going to see is the glitter. That's it. We're not using any glitter at all, by the way. I'm just telling you how we make it, how we do it. Now, for any individual who wants to get mad and think we're singling you out, we got everybody up here to play. We do. We got them all up here to play. None of that. But you should be doing these tests. You should be doing this. Let's go get some of the great product we got now. So we're going to paint over half of this. Here, that's our black screen on the other side. Our technology. I had a demonstration to do with that, but I painted my projector, and I got to still finish that demonstration off. People are asking, "What happened to the projector?" What we did we do it on Facebook? I think we did it on Facebook. All right. Let me see. Um, let's get ourselves some rollers here for this. Okay. Now as for the dark mix, uh, one's not going to be enough to get the pop. You're going to need two, three, and four. Five would be pushing it. That'll be for tomorrow. Tomorrow I got some time off. We got a few things we got to do. Take care of tomorrow. Get things ready. If I'm up early in the morning, get those knocked off. We can start on some darker mixes, and we'll show you the different blends we get out of those too. Of course, I'm going to order me some more paint, some greater black paint. This. All right, so we got, we're going to paint this. Can't really tell the difference between the two, can you? I can see the different slight shade off, but you really can't see it. We're going to put this one in the middle. All right. Oh, wow, that'd be a weird episode, wouldn't it?
put this over here. You guys over there. I had a little bit of this left over to make a sample sheet for myself because I'm gonna be putting this against our screen upstairs. That's good. Dark retro over there. Uh, on one side we have okay, so you see them all together in the middle. That's dark retro. That's 4K prehistoric. That's only two tables, two scoops of black paint and to the um, white paint. That right there is, I think, the prehistoric 4K. No, vintage 4K. I got these memorized. Vintage 4K. So the vintage 4K is three scoops of black into white paint. The one right there, and you see in the center, which is the dark retro, that one right there is uh, one scoop of white paint into uh, black paint. Keep in mind we had this much black paint left over in the container so you know. So if you're going to be doing a quart you're going to have to put two of those in there instead of one. So I'll mark all that down so you can see it. As I said before it's a give and take relationship. One's going to produce higher contrast, one's going to produce higher white levels. This is how it works. You'll see break on the door. So that's why when you see these screen paint mixes and they pop their tops and they show you there's different shades, that's how it's done. It's only a couple of shades of either white or black. That's it. And that's how we made it. That's how we did it. Seven years and eight, nine years ago. That's how we made it. Same old tradition, just different projector, that's all. Same thing. Like somebody, like I said, the red wagon effect. Except for the difference in this red wagon effect, they take the wagon and they put newer update model wheels on it. But all in all, it's all the still the same wagon you've been buying from day one. Just got some new wheels on it, that's all. Let's get your front so you can see what's going on. Now, of course, they'll take it as, oh, he's doing this because. He's mad about, I'm not mad about anything. What am I mad about? My sales are going through the roof. My product's selling. What am I mad about? Doing very, very good over here. No, people need to see this at the end of the day because it's the same paint. And anyone who's been making this stuff back in that particular era can look at it and say, it's the same paint. There's nothing do, dif different about it. Same thing. Nothing different about it. For anybody sit there and tell you, oh, but there's a difference in show us. I would love to see the difference between um, the products that these people are making versus the two, three, four, and five, versus the Sherman Williams, versus the fellow that came on YouTube and showed her how to make that uh, black and um, silver product he was making on his channel. What is the difference between it? Can't show us that, then at the end of the day, guess what? People who actually use this paint can basically make it themselves. Because you can't show a difference. Now you see how much darker that comes up? Because it doesn't have the ability to receive and understand white light. Let's go over to something simple. 4K snow screen savers. Getting that from YouTube. See how dark it comes up? That comes up the same color as when we take black fabric and we lay it against our screens and our screens produce that high, vivid white level. 
or when we take black paint and black fabric and all that stuff and we throw it against our screen or black screens and they produce higher white levels. I can't see white light. It's doing the exact same thing black paint would do. And that's actually a dark gray. Can't read white light. So this is what happens if you make these gray screen paint products. You put too much dark into it because you want the contrast levels and your white levels will suffer. If you don't have enough in it, then basically your contrast will suffer. Red screen. Getting that from YouTube. Now this one, you have a dirty red and you have a washed out red at the same time. Hmm. Let's go over to um, TLC 4K demonstration. Let me get the fan out here too. Getting that from YouTube. There you go. Whoop. Put that fan hard way. Now, when I told you that dark gray mixes have a problem because they can't receive white light, and that's why the images come up dark. Where the gray mixes can't see contrast and color, and that's why they wash out, and that's why they can't pull contrast levels. They can maintain a white level to a certain degree, but it's equal to a white screen. White screens do the same thing. So anyone out there thinking that if I make the mix darker, then I know you're definitely going to have a problem because now you're taking away from something from the product. That's why when I do the demonstrations, it would stick to contrast levels only when it comes to the darker mixes, knowing it can't produce the higher white levels. And if they do try the show wire white levels, they don't put anything to compare it to. That way you can't see a difference. Now, like I said, go wrong, feel free to do the demonstrations. But you're talking to somebody who's making screen paint products before you were even thought of. I have much more experience. That's why I can do this. against the phantom but you notice that we had white paper laying against the phantom and then on the other screen underneath of it the motorized we had a gray screen several gray screens with white sheets of paper laying underneath that I'll show you that demonstration the phantom was able to maintain its white levels color and contrast against white paper when the gray screen blended into it that would be show a difference This, but hey, it sure might be a pretty big headline. No one. Just to show you a person to make these great screen paint products. We know exactly what you're buying, we know exactly what you're getting. Now let's try some contrast and watch this.
it's a give or take. You can have the contrast levels, but you can't have the white levels or the color. And if you want the white levels, you can't have the contrast of the color. So what do you have? You've got a screen that sits in limbo. Can't do either one. That's the UB mix. Sitting right next to our mix right there. case no screensaver. See? Very easy. There you go. I know this stuff. Like I said, I used to make it. That's when we know it. They all do the same thing. Whether if you make it gray, whether you make it dark, we can mimic. We can make, the th make their products with no problem because we used to make this stuff back in the day. We know exactly how much it takes to trigger it. So here we have your UV mix matched to our product here. We have your Metallica mix matched with the product that has three tables, three uh, scoops of dark paint. And we have it matched over here with the personal mix, which is a lighter mix, which is made with two scoops. So don't tell me at the end of the day, I can't make your product. I can make you and part taste with no problem. Yeah, I used to make this stuff back in the day. Talk about somebody who's a professional. Yeah, I'm a professional in the field. I got years and years and years and years and years and years of experience of making this stuff. And I can show you on a demonstration, crystal clear, how to break it down, how to make it, put it together, and boom, show you the difference. You're dealing with a darker screen paint mix. One problem you're going to have, white levels are going to drop, but you're going to maintain contrast levels. Colors are going to drop because you can't have white levels. You're not going to have proper color. That's what's going to happen. It's going to come out dark, dark and it's going to come out murky. Like great products, you're probably going to have that. You don't have contrast, and you don't have proper color, and you don't have contrast levels. But you can pour a somewhat better white level. That's it. Skyworth, food demonstration. Getting that from YouTube. What you did was you took an old screen paint product from back in the day, that's what you did, and you introduced it to a high-tech projector, that's what you did. That's all. That's the reason why you're getting the image you're getting, and you want to paint it to the quality. The sad thing about it is no one else is picking up the same quality at all. Where my customer, Hector, has lower projectors than what we have, and he's doing it in fully lit environments on large screens and everything, no problem whatsoever. That's one of my customers. We got some people doing demonstrations on thousand inch screens in churches, not having any problems. But you, no problem. See how the contrast level pulls up? All right. So bounce over to the white levels. Now, we're not going to call them a scammer. We're not going to call them anything. That's for you to decide at the end of the day. Remember, that's your dime. Not my customers. Not my dime at the end of the day. We're going to buy the Cinemax, and after that, we're not buying nothing else, because we can make whatever we want from here. We don't need to buy anything. We can make it. It's the same thing. It's nothing new. For people saying, oh, you post these ingredients, it's nothing new. It's a YouTube paint from nine years ago. Everybody had this mixture. Some people put silver nail polish in theirs. Some people put... Uh, uh, 
gray Metallica paint. It's all kinds of way people were making it. This is the YouTube era. We call it the YouTube era because somebody, which we don't know who, came up with the idea with the white, uh, bear, bear, what's it called? The bear silver screen, the pearl essence, and they came up with the uh, black paint. But nobody knows who the original creator was. And they called it the YouTube paint. That's how it got its name. That's why they call it YouTube. And yet other people came out there who took the same product and added something to it. When we made ours, we made ours simple with bare silver screen, black paint for the toner, Martha Stewart Metallica mix, and gold and silver glitter. That's how digital ones were made. Now, if you wanted to make the paint darker or lighter, that's what the black paint was for. It was the adjuster. It set the tone for how dark or how light you wanted the product. Some people would dump in a mountain of glitter as you were doing a darker screen to get the white levels to push a little higher. There's all kinds of tricks they did. The base could be in so many different directions. You can have your base in white, you can have your base in gray, you can have your base in black, you can have your base in silver. But no. But the only difference is, back then we didn't have those high-end projectors that they have now. Those projectors would boost the screen to give that screen that capability. If that's not the case, anybody else would have the same results, and they don't. And like I said, if we're wrong on this, hey, feel free. You can make it yourself the ingredients as well. I'll put the ingredients right below. Nothing new. All gray screens, all darker screens, all react the same way. If you make it darker, they react the same way. If you make it lighter, they react the same way. What they do is they stick it on a high-end projector and say, look at the quality. No, the quality you're seeing is from the projector, not from the screen paint. I worked at companies where basically when they were going to put our screens on display, they were having a discussion of what projectors they use. We're going to use this particular projector because it has an extremely high contrast ratio, and that would make the black levels look darker. Yeah, there you go. Discussing on which projectors would give the screen the best performance possible. That's why we use the 720p low-end projectors. Let's go get some um, skin tones and see what we get on the darker screens. Every day brings new opportunities to redefine what a truck can be. Ram is the top brand in new vehicle quality in the automotive industry. Push the limits of what's possible with a lineup of Ram trucks built to serve. Now, when they show up the darker mixes, what they'll usually do is to take it and they'll put it by itself on a standalone, which means you have nothing to compare it to. That's why when we do demonstrations, we're constantly doing demonstrations with lighter screens, certified screens, white walls, all that's the shirt in the day that our screen has something to compare itself to. Where they'll take that screen, paint it in, show a white level and say, look, there's no, there's no difference. Stick a white sheet of paper in the middle of that and see what happens. Because we do it on black screens all the time. But as you can see here, this is our product we made here. Three tablespoons, two scoops, and to a quart, two scoops into a quart. And that one right there, one uh, scoop of white into about a half of a, we use a half of a black, a half a quart of black. You know, and I hate to say it, but this is the same individual who's still going back to that whole, oh, this is his product on black paint, so on black, what is wrong with you? Like, something's wrong with you at the end of the day. So you're going back to the same theme of saying, oh, this is this product, this is how dark it comes up. So I guess the beta testers, customers, people have companies that have our products on display on our site and just about every place else, they're wrong and you're right. Hmm. And we do our demonstrations versus black paint and all different kinds of fabrics where you refuse to do these demonstrations at the end of the day. But for some reason, yes, we call it, they call his apartment the Bermuda Triangle because for some reason it'll work every place else, but it won't work in his environment. So how do we have products that we show these test demonstrations off before they launch, before anyone can get their hands off their test demonstrations showing these products doing what they're supposed to do, but for some reason in your environment, they trigger off that way. Yeah. Look, people, at the end of the day, you question us. I ain't got a problem with that. I can back my product. I love when people question my work. But you need to question these other people too at the end of the day too. 
is your dime. My customers know at the end of the day, I can go up there and say, hey, look, this is our black acoustic surface versus a surface that's not coated. I can show you a difference. What you got to worry about at the end of the day, are you getting house paint or are you getting screen paint? That's your biggest question of the day. Now I'm just showing you, if you make this stuff, this is going to be that we're going to put this against the blacker screens. We got to use our sample sheets anyway. I got to make three. So I'm going to make one for that one, that one, that one. So we'll show you the difference between what our product does and what these products can't do at the end of the day. Lights on or lights off doesn't make a difference. But if you have no choice, like I said, and you can't, I'm not trying to be rude here, and you can't afford our prices on our end, at least at the end of the day, you don't have to buy $89 or $80 or $170 for a product that you can literally make yourself. This is a basic base of the digital and crystal screen paint products. Now, if you want it with already with a little dark gray, go get some bullseye primer. It's, it's, it works just as well. It's dark gray. You can put a little white painting, put black paint, however way you want to go with that. This is actually basement paint. You know that, right? The paint we use to make our screen paint is literally basement sealer. So when people say, oh, you have to have a particular kind of paint. Yeah, yeah, you don't. No, you don't. This is one of the favorite demonstrations of people who makes gray screen paint products. They like this particular demonstration because it shows up the white levels, but they give them somewhat of contrast levels. But we put you against our screen, we show this demonstration, you would turn tan every single time. And this is how they back up their contrast. Levels. Look, the screen produces, oh, we know that. Got to show white levels. No Christmas cottage. Getting that from YouTube. So when you're watching demonstrations on these products, number one, the gray screens are always supposed to display as many contrast levels as possible because that's something that gray screens are not able to do. Black screens have to show off as many white levels as possible because that's what black screens are not supposed to be able to do. Simple and plain. All right, well, mm. I got customers to attend to the day. Uh, I got everything else done early in the morning. Got the room painted up. We're done with that. I got to do some more acoustic demonstrations from there. Um, just showing you at the end, so you can see right there that, no, there's no difference at all. There's really no difference at all. Basically, on the great paint screen paint products, there's no difference in the uh, darker mixes. There's no difference. They all do the same thing. You know what I mean? His product is matching perfectly to the mix we made here. They're matching perfectly the mixes we have there. It's no difference at the end of the day. They have to show that if there's a difference. Other than that, you just go out and just... But me on my end, what would I do if I was one of you guys? I would just buy the Network Grade 773. You know why? There's no work involved. All you're doing is just basically just taking the paint out. And and if you want to add a little dark, you can if you want to. But it's it's perfect. It's a perfect shade of gray. Perfect shade of gray. As a matter of fact, it makes a fantastic primer too. We use for primer screens. Starfield screensaver. Getting that from YouTube. See? Same paint we made here. We'll have reversal. Take black, you drop white into it. That's all you gotta do. And it converts it into the UV or any other gray mix out there that's whatever it's claiming to be. You make it yourself. It all does the same thing. Snow screen savers. Getting that from YouTube. Go put it right back over to white. And there you go. All right, I hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. I gotta get cleaned up, man. I am covered in paint as always. Not the good kind of paint either. But anyway, 
at least you got an idea of it all. Uh, hopefully from this, you can educate yourself. When I try to bring out stuff to educate you as much as possible, sorry if I get a little crazy on camera sometimes. This time I think I did a pretty good job. Didn't call anybody a scammer, didn't rant, rave, or whatever else at the end of the day. Didn't take too much passion into my work. So keep it nice and calm, which I'm trying to do. All right, this summer we'll try we'll do, when we get to warm outside, we'll show you why you don't want to use this stuff outside. But right now it's too cold, so we can't do that. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for your time. Um, I got to get back to work on my launch date for my new products. And at the end of the day, like I told you, if I was threatened by this stuff at the end of the day, why in the world would I show you how to make it? It's not going to match anything we have over here, period. It's just not. And I'll back that up, as I always do. So I probably will be back in probably tonight. We're going to do this with the lights out and lights on. Well, I think with the lights out, because people always come out, oh, lights out, lights out. A better way to basically show you that the product basically doesn't work than with the lights out. All right. We'll be back in later on today to show you why our technology is more advanced. Got to go in. God bless.